everybody, it's Ryan. We are at my place and we are going to be hauling out the beef cattle that are in the pole shed here. So we got the gates set up down in the barnyard. We got the trailer hooked up to my truck and it should be two loads we're thinking. But they're a little bit more wild than the Holsteins because they weren't bottle raised. And um, it's gonna be kind of a pain pushing them into the barnyard. We got here and they were already in the barn which is good because that's why I let them in to the barnyard yesterday because we had set it up so that we could kind of get them used to it so we just shut the gate on them and that's the reason we didn't back the trailer trailer down there right away because if you do that it tends to psych them out a little bit and they start freaking out so you try to we try to delay it as long as we can As far as thinking these guys are just regular feeders, I think we're beyond that point. I think they are actually tickling pretty good sized fats or yearlings. Because a couple of these are 800 plus. So, what we're going to do is we're going to act very carefully. <laughs> Basically, just open the door up and they're probably going to run on. But the key is you got to get the door slammed in the trailer before they get to the front of the trailer and start coming back out. Come on. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Two. Three. Go. 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 Come on, guys. load the double tag ones are heifers and the single ones are steers all right let me show you guys what the exhaust brake does so I just turned it on as I press the brake the engines gonna start shifting saves a lot of wear and tear on the brakes. Alright, so I've got a load of 11 uh, steers and heifers I think. I don't, don't have a count on how many of what, but that's everything I got. Okay. Papers and they're Holsteins? Uh, they are Black Angus for the most part uh, and Crossbreds. They're not Holsteins. Okay. Alrighty. There might be one Red Angus on the two. And these all go to Kester Farms. Kester? 
Kister, K-U-S-T-E-R. This is how farms work right here. Those two of mine that I'm bringing also have those two. So, okay. All right. thanks. All right. All right. We just dumped off the first load. There's going to be at least one more, if not two. So they know that they've got all their shots and everything? Yeah, yeah, Okay, all right, thank you. All right, so we just dropped off the second load of cattle. Uh, all in all, there were 22. We didn't sell two. Two of them were mine, and the rest were dad's. So we aren't, sit, we aren't selling the Holsteins quite yet. We might wait for further on in the year. Uh, there's really no reason to sell them right now, so we figured might as well hold on to them. Maybe even let them grow some more. They're really not hurting us much, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, unhook the trailer. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time. We call this Brulard Hill. So since I'm trying to be kind of transparent with you guys, I just got the check in the mail from selling those cattle last week. And I'm holding it in my hands and I am actually really happy with it.
so here she is <clears throat> the two calves that I had sold averaged 762 pounds for a total weight of 1,525 pounds. So the price that they went for was a buck 40 a pound, which comes out to be $2,135. That's for two steers. And here at the bottom are the deductions. Beef promotion, $2, which might be for advertising, I think. I'm not totally sure. Vet inspection, $0.90. Cents. Commission, $55.51. Yardage and feed, $2. And insurance, $1.92. The insurance is for just in case they die on their lot. Uh, the yardage and feed, obviously, is for their feed. The commission is using the sales barn services, so just for selling them at the sales barn, uh, for them handling the cattle, which uh, we put, we put my cattle in with with Dad's cattle, so they would have had to sort them apart, which that's part of the commission. So, I mean, we're gonna pay commission anyway, so real, really no point in us sorting out my cattle just to when I gotta pay for commission for it anyway, right? Um, but yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, last year I sold two steers, like, same situation. And they sold for twelve. No, it was fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred dollars. So this year, um, they weigh a little bit more. Last year, I think they were six fifty. So they're about a hundred pounds more each um, than they sold for. Uh, what was that? Well, I made an extra six hundred, seven hundred dollars off of them. So i'm pretty impressed i thought i'd just share this with you guys because like i said i'm trying to be a little bit transparent on what i'm doing as far as the um crops and the cattle go so anyway thanks for watching guys